Hi, today we're going to talk about how to upload and use files you purchased from Etsy in your Silhouette software. So what you'll want to do first is with your Silhouette Studio open, you'll want to come up to help and you'll want to go down to about Silhouette Studio. This tells you what type of software you have. There is free Silhouette Studio software, so if you have not paid for your software, it's going to be free and it's going to require you use what's called a DXF file instead of an SVG file. So as long as you do not see basic edition right here, that's the free version, then you will always, always want to use the SVG file. It's so much easier to work with than the DXF. The DXF will import to the, the paid versions of the software, but you will not want to use it. So for example, let me show you, here is an example of one of the files that I sell in my Etsy shop. And it usually comes with these different file types, not always depending on what the project is, sometimes there are fewer, but this is the, the max amount that it comes with. Here's the DXF file, which I was talking about, which if you have the free software, you'll want to use, but otherwise you will not. Comes with a EPS usually, a JPEG, a PNG, and then this right here is the file you want. It is an SVG file. I name all of mine beginning with SVG just to make it easier because the tricky thing about SVG files are instead of, you see the type here, and all of these are very clear until you get to this one, and then it says Microsoft Edge. And you're like, what is that? That's not SVG. Well, for some reason, when you save an SVG file, it takes on the default internet browser set up on your computer. So in this case, the default browser for this computer is Microsoft Edge, but it could be Chrome, it could be Internet Explorer, it could be Firefox, Safari, Opera, there are a ton of them. So I name mine beginning with the SVG to try to avoid the confusion, but if you're buying from someone else, they might not. So what you want to do is under this file type, always look for something that is an internet browser, and that is your SVG file. So that's the file you want to pull in. So now I'm back in Silhouette, and I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Open, and this is assuming you've downloaded your files from Etsy, you've unzipped them, and you've saved them somewhere on your computer. So go to open, and I'm going to find and pull in my SVG file. And so when I do my files, most of them come grouped together. So you'll notice there's a bunch of layers here, but they're all moving together. And that's done because it has to be done if you're using a Cricut and a lot of my customers actually are Cricut users so but it's very easy to take care of in the silhouette what you do is you just click on it and with your mouse you right click and you go down to ungroup so then they all become the separate layers that they were created to be and you can move them around and choose to cut them in whatever order or however you want to cut them.